Hey everybody, this is Michael from uh, Barton Musical Circuits, and I'm showing you a demo right now of a prototype I've been working on uh, called the Delaying Attack Release Generator. Basically what this is, it's a voltage controlled attack release uh, with a built-in delay. Uh, so we've got an input here that you'd put a gate or a trigger. Uh, this is our output, and this is an inverted output. Um, then we've got controls here for attack, release, uh, delay time, delay feedback, uh, which that's controlling how much repeats you get, and then the delay level. Uh, and then these switches over here, uh, the one marked R is reset, which sets it to when you uh, put a new trigger in or a new delay starts, whether it resets to zero volts before applying the attack, or whether it just starts attacking and increasing the voltage uh, from where you are. Like, that would be if you hit the key while it was still decaying, whether it would go back to zero before it went back up. And then uh, the one marked G, that's uh, turning gates on or off. Uh, when this is switched up, uh, it'll treat everything like a trigger. Uh, and when it's switched down, it'll recognize a gate. And how long your uh, gates in are is going to affect your uh, delay time. So it's uh, it makes it a little less interactive, uh, but that's better if you're using uh, an automated system or if you're trying to get a more consistent sound. And the reason I've got it uh, set right next to my arpeggiator expander module right here is that it actually works with that module. And that's I'm going to show you that in the next video for this. But I'm just going to play it for you real quick. I'm using my Poly 800 to a uh, MIDI to CV converter, and that's what's controlling that. And the regular output is going to a VCA, and the inverted output is going to the uh, exponential CVN on a uh, oscillator. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this switch. And my battery's about to die.